good afternoon, guys. So I'm at Timmy's, just ate. I actually just got off the phone with Curdy Flirty slash Curtis. Talk for a good hour. Uh, I am now heading over to the Metro Convention Center. We're gonna see if they have a bag check and meet up with some folks, so, yeah. So we're cut, we semi VIP'd in, and now we are walking the exhibits. Was there Disney on ice? Where's there? the puppy? It was. Oh my god, that was a great day. I went to Why wouldn't you? I mean, as Good much time. as I would love to have him, just like a service dog right here. Jim St. Touch and her man, Theo. And my man. <laughs> this is my favorite artist. I'm happy to see Darth Vader likes his comic books. I was just gonna say. <laughs> I'm here with WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley and current Raw Where? General Manager. Oh, me? <laughs> Keyword current. Current. Current, yeah, you may have to update this. Subject to weeks. change. Yeah. <laughs> always subject to change. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. So we talked a bit of shop. Uh, we talked about the three weaknesses and strengths of Raw right now. Uh, weakness is obviously the extra hour. If you're a wrestling fan, you know that the extra hour of Raw just seems to drag on. Uh, the storylines uh, are definitely improving. That's a strength, and I, I can agree with him there. And um, talked a little bit about Roman Reigns, uh, a little bit of a controversial topic here. He, uh, Mick brought up the point that Roman Reigns is extremely over with certain fans, but the ones who go to the actual events, the televised events, apparently just aren't as into him. And I can totally agree with it. That's a, that's a valid point, but I think it would work better if Vince just laid off the... Uh, Lead off the push for a bit. Anyway, enough about the wrestling stuff. Back to the nerd stuff. I'm not sure if I should be surprised or not, but the people from Bones, TV, drama, mystery, thriller, whatever you want to call it, have the biggest lineup? Dude, this guy from Star Trek, like, right there. Everyone in the Darth Maul line is sitting down. And I guess everyone else left already, but still. Like the dude from Big Bang Theory, the comic book shop owner was here and he didn't have a line. I'm gonna go talk to the doctor. Looking for stuff in that line. I'm gonna take a picture of you guys and tweet it out. Funniest part is by the time you see this, uh, or while well, well, this is being filmed, Fan Expo has not actually been edited yet. So, I mean, by the time this is released, you'll know what this looks like. But right now, I just like you guys wouldn't know. Uh, I need to edit more. That's a big bird. That's that's too big. Stop. Those burbs are the right size. So it wouldn't be a visit to Toronto without a trip to France. And they got me my food in less than 10 minutes. Bruh. Service. Everything looks good, but that's nothing new. No.
What is up, guys? Future Johnny here. So this was a very eventful weekend. Lots of music. Lots of stuff happened in a very short time. It's 8 a.m., by the way. I didn't sleep. I wanted to make sure this got done today. Because if you're watching this, I'm at Valhalla Sound Circus. You guys remember that video from last year? Go check it out. I'm proud of it. It got featured on Valhalla's community page. And shout out to Linnea, I believe her name is. Forgive me if I'm... Not remembering that because I'm really tired right now. I should go to bed. And I also I we're having a Avengers later today, which I don't know when the video for that will be up. And then uh, I have to work it overnight, so I had to stay up as long as possible to get as much sleep as possible, so I won't be dead. But yeah, uh, hoping to do two videos soon. Probably not next week, but the week after. Every other week seems to work, and I'll be caught up. By uh, by the end of July, maybe, who knows? I'm uh, I'm happy with how quickly I'm editing videos lately, ish. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to bed. You guys stay awesome. Insert awesome outro here. Smoke bomb. Psh.